I'll open this question up. Is Atlanta the South because of the uh, time zone? <laughs> Hey man, hey man, I love Atlanta, uh, man. Hey, no, I just hey, asked you gonna get you to say no. Hey, hey, let me take it. 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 Let Hey man, hey man, I love Atlanta, uh, man. Hey, no, I just hey, asked you gonna get you to say no. I asked you a question. Hey, hey, let me take it. 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 Let me take he said he still said it, but he said because they Eastern time. That's what he was. What, Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, that's and, what he was saying. And the fact that when we go there, when we was going there in the nineties, all them Chicago dudes would be down there, and a lot of New York dudes would be down there. Philadelphia, and you know, we wasn't with the Man, Timberlands. You know, we wasn't with uh -uh. the yeah. We wasn't with. Them. I heard him say though. He said, you know, I love Atlanta. I used to live in Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? But he, he, was talking, he, he moved to Atlanta. But, but, he said he loved Atlanta. But, but oh, love it. But, yeah. But you know, he said a few other things. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Me that, in that same interview, right? Yeah, he was talking about so, sexuality so, of people. So, so, so yeah, we, he we, was we, hitting we, on points but, on but, that. But, but you got to remember, you're talking about Pimp C. You know what I'm saying? Me no filter. So, so when he going at at, at at Jeezy, he going at the entire Atlanta because he probably thinking in his mind that they gonna be on Jeezy's side. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Me so he kind of like I said, he was a little paranoid, so he was preempting the the, the the beef. Like, yeah, all you motherfuckers can get it. You know what I'm saying? Me, but in reality, Atlanta love Pimp C because I I know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean, I'm I'm fuck with these niggas. Everybody love Pimp C. I mean, everybody. Actually, actually, that was a. Uh, the crazy shit ever. When Pimp C went on the rant, that was the crazy shit ever. Because if Pimp C would have did that, that album probably did 10 times, it probably would have went diamond. Dang. Mm. I, I, I'm yeah, telling you. I, how, what, this 3 6 Mafia thing, he loved them boys too. Yeah, what was did. It, how did he build that relationship? I know you would know that. We finna get off of here, but. Closer to when they was in it, after he moved to Atlanta, when they was working on the. Uh, so that was something too. Yeah. Uh, you ever you get a chance to rock with, with them all together? Man. He was at the, Paul, was at the video Paul, shoot. No, I know that, but I'm hey, talking about other essences. Paul, listen, Paul Juicy J called me all the time. A Ball MJG. Everybody in hip hop, man. No, I'm not, I'm not bragging. Paul no, was at the front no, of They fuck with me. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Me? They fuck with me. I've been on the phone with these niggas because you got to remember, you know what I'm saying? Me? You know, I had relationships predating them. Yeah, yeah. So as they began to mature, and like Lil John, like meeting me is like how you said, you know, when you yeah, met when me, I met you, when, yeah. Lil John meeting me was like a great honor because you got to remember it was, it was Jermaine Dupri before Lil John and Too Short. So I'm at the uh, video shoot with Too Short, and that's how I meet Lil John. The next day, I ordered him a pimp cup. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Hmm. That's the whole pimp cup. He'll tell you, go read the double XL. He said, came from Pimp and Ken. So I have a lot of relationships, but I'm not the type of person to go around bragging and, oh, I know this nigga. See, if you don't never talk to me about that, I'm a, you going to catch me in Shop Town Mall. You're going to catch me in the mall selling DVDs. And you're going to say, that nigga broke. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's, that's what you're going to say. I never thought that. I thought no, you were a hustler I, like me. But, 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 what I, but what I'm saying, what I'm saying, niggas don't know. What, the same nigga that you you buying the DVD from is the same nigga you gonna see. I have five videos on BET countdown yeah. at the same time. I know that I was featured in, or you know I was on the first the top ten albums. You know, and they got to remember when when, when 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 your mama got through fucking you and you got twenty four years old, Ken still receiving publishing. 24 wow. years later hmm. since that song. So you was born at the date the song was mother, but I'm still, I, I can show you my emails, I'm still receiving money from ASCAP and BMI. I still wow. receive publishing, and so I probably get more publishers than a lot of rappers because I've been on more albums than, than a lot, lot of rappers. rappers. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just a down to earth nigga, street nigga, yeah. so you gonna see me everywhere. I yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.